Yes, and by the way, what you all know, but most people don't know, unlike the African-American community, with notable exceptions, the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community with incredibly different attitudes about different things. You go to Florida, you find a very different attitude about immigration in certain places than you do when you're, when you're in Arizona. So it's a very different, a very diverse community. Hey, Joe, for once, I'm on your side, brother. Keep spitting them, keep spitting that truth, man. <laughs> Put these black people in that plate. <laughs> Crack that whip on them, Joe. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to ever agree with anything when it comes out your mouth, Joe. <laughs> Joe came out with that whip saying, <laughs> You don't vote for me, you ain't black. <laughs> Poor kids is just as smart as white kids. Yeah, I mean, that's You just said a whole, man, Joe, you just crazy as hell. I mean, Joe has been saying stuff like this for years. This is not surprising. And Bibby said, hey, y'all don't vote for I think it was Hillary. Y'all don't vote for Hillary. Yeah. They gonna put y'all back in chains. <laughs> he said that up in a black church. <laughs> what they do? Praise God. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Amen, Joe Biden. Amen. The reason, okay, look, Joe said he compared black people to Latinos. And he said that compared to Latinos, yeah. le that Latinos have more diversity of thought when it comes to black people. And that's a statistical fact politically. Yeah. For the like past 30 years. Keyword. Keyword. He didn't say about everything. He said poli politically. Yeah, politically. Yeah. For like the last 30, 40 years, black people have been voting at a 90 plus percent clip for one party, the Democrats. That's crazy. 90%? <laughs> 90. No other demographic. Like white people, it's like 50 50. But black people? Yeah. 90 plus percent. Every election. Yeah, because the majority of us politically, man, we think the same. That's why when we came out as black conservatives, that's one of the main reasons why we came out, because we wanted to show black folks, hey, you don't have to think along with the crowd of other black folks. You can think differently. You are your own person. You don't vote with your skin. Yeah. You but can make your own decisions. You can vote for whoever you want. Yeah. This is a free country. Yeah. I mean, being, if you having to vote Democrat just because you're black, then you're not free. Yeah. It's like... Black people think with that skin color, not their brain. Yeah. That's why when we, when we came out as black conservatives, yeah, Republicans, we we've been we like <laughs> outcasts. That's why they call us Uncle Toms, Coons, yeah. Sambo's, boot licking <laughs> Uncle Toms. If you was to take out a white brush and paint all the black people white, they'd be the biggest racist in this country. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. You can call me a racist all you want. That is, that is true. I, black people treat me differently because I don't think like, like them. Like, I go out in public, Target and stuff, and shopping. Yeah. I'm nice to everybody. Yeah. I forget who I am sometimes, man. Black people give me some dirty looks like they want to hurt me. I mean... Because I, of how I think. Because yeah. I don't think like them. Yeah. So, um, okay. We need to break down what racism actually means. Yeah, let me, let me tell them. I'm going to tell them. Yeah, break it down for them, man. Listen up, lefty. Listen up, liberal. Yeah, I think that term racist, racism, is, yeah. it's been minimized because people use it for any little thing, especially on the left. Yeah, they've, they've so minimized that term that yeah. it's lost its meaning. And people on the right, too. Yeah, because there's people on the right calling Joe racist. Yeah, people will use that term racist. They only, the only reason why they use it is for political gain. The left does it yeah. and the right does it. Yeah. Now you see a lot of people calling him racist. I don't yeah. necessarily think what he said was racist. Okay, let me, define, facts. let me define racism. Spit it, man. All right, it's a complex word. Give me a minute. Listen up, everybody. On the left and the right. All right, racist. Racism. Yeah. <sighs> man, what does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> it mean? Okay, look, it means this. <laughs> it means to dislike another race. Yeah. Typically through uh, a belief of superiority over another race. Yeah, and I'm better than you. Yeah. Mm. And because of that, it leads to discriminatory practices such yeah. as Jim Crow laws, segregation. Which is founded. But guess who? The Democrats. Right? You can't you can't work here. We don't hire black people. Or yeah. You can't sit here on the bus. You can sit on the bus, but you got to take your black ass back out. <laughs> you, uh, you can white only water yeah. fountains. Yeah. You know, you can't buy a house. Can't have I mean, certain jobs. Discriminatory practices. You can't be a doctor lawyer, but you go out in that field and pick that cotton. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'll even take it a uh, step further. Yeah. Racist, to define racism. Yeah. It's to mock another race based on their physical characteristics. Yeah, like, like what they, uh, yeah. Well, what was you going to say? Back in the old days, the menstrual shows where white people get on stage yeah. and paint themselves black and mock black people, their skin color and they make their lips big and. Yeah, make what that, that what the yeah. uh, president up in Canada did. Yeah. yeah. He's a racist. <laughs> he that was racist for him to do that. <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> might have grown up since then. <laughs> I hope so. Right? Yeah, he changed for that election. <laughs> like, Same thing for North. He government. was dressed up, he said that wasn't him. Dressed up and yeah. looked like he put shoe polish on his body. Yeah. He's racist. Gov- governor of uh, Virginia, by the way. Yeah. Maybe that was racist for him to do that, but I, I pray to God that he's seen the error of his ways. I seriously doubt it. Uh, but anyway, that's that's what that's the definition of racist. Like, if you're white and you disagree with a black person, they oh, will ra- call that white racist. person racist. Yeah, I've been called a black Nazi. Those two don't even go together. Yeah, like okay, just for disagreeing with somebody, they will call you a racist. Yeah, like um, like I give you an example, being some being racist. Mm. Let's say a white man comes in and says black people lips are thicker and fuller than a white person. Black person racist. You heard what he said? That's racist, man. Man, what you talking about, man? That's racist. <laughs> That's not racist. He's just making an observation. <laughs> Black right? people do have fuller lips. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Now, if that white man came and said, boy, look at that boy over there. Whoa, he's lit. He's lit like a damn Krispy Kreme donut on his face. <laughs> Whoa, that boy got some big lips on him. Whoa, he cooled my suit. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's racist as hell. <laughs> That is racist. He's once being ob- uh, making an observation, the other's mocking the other race. I yeah. mean, we do have fuller lips, but I ain't never seen no brother with no damn donut sitting on his face. <laughs> like Trump, this came- some big ass lips. <laughs> they they can cool. <laughs> I ain't gonna even go there. Like when Trump said some areas in Africa are shithole countries, they called him racist just yeah. because he made an observation that some place in that country are like oh, a damn poor, shithole. Yeah. I yeah. mean, who's going there to vacation? Yeah, like look at uh, what he said about Baltimore. Yeah. He said it's crime infested, rodent infested. I mean, they called him a racist while other Democrats have said the exact same thing. Yeah, but because he's white, he's yeah. a racist. That's why I had to define yeah. what racist is or racism yeah. is. Today, people are using that word for political gain. And the left and the right uses a majority of the time is people on the left. Yeah, majority. I'll say ninety percent of the time. I'll say ninety nine point nine percent of the time. Right. So what Joe said is that racist? No. No. Yeah. I've said it before. Black people is the only demographic of people in yeah. this country yeah. who vote on a ninety plus percent clip. Yeah. For Democrats. Yeah. No other race does that. White people is pretty much fifty fifty. Yeah, I think it's uh, Latino 60-40. You know, I but mean, that's the only race that yeah. votes on that clip. Now, if Joe would have came out and said black people think the same about each and everything, yeah, that's racist. Yeah, but he was talking about politics, and what he said was absolutely true. Sometimes truth hurts, man. Should it hurt? Is it going to hurt Joe in the election? No. You're going to see in this next election. 90% of black folks going to vote for Joe. I'm thinking some people's open eyes, though. It's got to be at least... I'm thinking I'm thinking Trump going to steal like 5%. It's going to be like 85%. Man, after this video, instead of 90% voting for Joe, 89. I would say 89.9% going to vote for Joe. They still going to vote for him. They just think the same. <laughs> Politically. <laughs> yeah. Go to officialharvestwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t-shirts great again.